All right, you guys, let's talk about uh, selection. Let me go back to uh, our next project, technical product A. Let's go to the girl. There's a couple where you can do your selection uh, in Photoshop, okay? Uh, there's actually mainly four ways you can do it, okay? You'll have the geometry selection, which is the marquee tool, all right? So you have it right here, and you can make geometric selection out of it. If you click on it, you'll get uh, single column pixels, you know, elliptical and so forth. You also have right here the lasso, polygon lasso and magnetic lasso. Let me deselect. And I'll show you the work. The lasso, just like it says, you just go around it. You better zoom in a lot and have a pen basically as a tablet. Oh, it won't work very well. I really, really, really use it. Uh, never, rarely use it. Sorry, I apologize. The polygon lasso, I use that all the time. That's the one I use the most actually because if you take your time, and do it well you can definitely uh, zoom in and get it really quickly you know attached to it very well around it you know and it's fairly quick the more you zoom in the better off you are okay and uh, to do that all I had frankly it will take me maybe two or three minutes at the most including the wall behind it okay so it's pretty quick and you have the magnetic lasso tool which is similar it just uh, uh, stuck to your uh, pixel better it's faster for you guys to do but al always the best okay you have to be careful all right with it but it, it works pretty well see it will forget some of the pixels and so forth you have to you have to be careful sometimes with it okay and click again and you know but it works pretty well I have to say all right and that's uh, you could use that you also have another way which is basically uh, by the magic one which is color right here you select a color and you click on it and depending on the tolerance of your color it will uh, select uh, you know its borders uh, pixels you know what I'm saying you can add to it by clicking more like that you can increase it and you'll get more of a selection on that orange that you are it works very well on flat surfaces like let's say the wall let's deselect uh, it will work here the the hair, as you can see, don't work as well. You'll have to, you'll make them bulky, basically, and sharp instead of being feathery like they should be, okay? So be very careful with that. So um, I said the geometric, that was number one we talked about, the freehand selection tools, all right? The edge selection tools, okay, which is, uh, you know, the pen tool and its associated um, path selection stuff, and uh, the color or tone selection. Uh, in on top of that you have something called a quick mask let me show you what it is read about it but I'll show you let's say you have a selection like that you quick you select on a quick max and you'll change color okay uh, to the selection you just did if you double click on it you can get a mask area or selected area we want to be in selected area right now because it will take your selection and the color make it fairly uh, uh, you know contrastable to the original color so you can see it now what's really cool with that is that if you click right here you get the black and white as usual if you uh, select the black right and take a brush of any type i'll make a small one all right like that you can add to that uh, mask basically okay so that's very useful you can add or take away from the mask. that's very useful because let's say you have a pretty good selection but you want to get rid of you know you want to refine that right here so you're going to zoom in huge you know and you're going to go back to that to the eraser this time and you're gonna make it uh, fairly small like two or even one actually you know and uh, you can uh, start uh, you know get rid of the mask a little bit to gain back uh, the hair again okay the color of the hair and so forth so it's not so bulky okay and, and that works pretty well like that this is a good combo to uh, to work it out um, obviously okay to regain your, your quality after that when you're good with that well, it's very simple just unclick the mask again and bang you're back to your uh, sel uh, new selection okay so that that's pretty uh, that's pretty cool all right you guys now one thing i want you guys to do all the time is to go to select and uh, save your selection all right it will save you trust me it's very useful i'll see you in the next video for the rest